one of the things that's working is the urban group, okay? When you look at the work that they're doing, uh, along with what Reverend Sharpton is doing, and, and other, uh, even the CBC with the voter suppression rights and bills and things like that, those things are working. What's not working is we're not coming together. We've had every movement in this country except for economic movement, and it's time for us to have an economic movement in this country. It's two things that, that is vital to me for, for black America. One, as an attorney, I see what's happening in the criminal system. I see these nonviolent felons, I see these people getting misdemeanors, and their records stay with them for life. We should be, we should be like the Tea Party about the legal system. The second thing is, I, I, I look at how many other tribes of mankind is in our community making money. And, and we think about money uh, one of two ways, either big money or no money at all. Not realizing that if, if you have a, a community that has 10,000 people in it, if just those 10,000 people spend $100 a month at a corner store. That store is doing $12 million a year. If they do just 5,000 of them do 100 a month, it's doing $6 million a year. That's leaving their community every day. And we keep thinking that it's no, it's no money in our, in our ghettos and in, in, in harvest neighborhoods. And it's huge money there. We just collectively put it together. So we need an economic movement and we need a criminal justice movement to change what's going on, uh, especially for these young boys. You know, they're, they're getting probation thinking they're beating the case and don't realize that it's going to be with them for life. So those are the two things I would be addressing right now if, if it was up to me.